Jim Hawkins, sir. I'm Ship's boy. Apparently. Welcome aboard, Jim Hawkins. I'm Jim Strat McBuckerberg. Some call me Cookie. Some call me Barbecue. Some call me Douchebag. Some call me Fratty. Some call me Fran. Some call me Destroyer of Worlds. Some call me the Joker. Something wrong, Jim? Uh, n no, Mr. Silver. It's just that I've never been aboard a ship before. Some call me Kim. Do you see that weird handshake? Just kind of vibrating in each other's hands. I think they just moved the scenery up and down to make it look like it was shaking. First things first. You see that loaf of strike me dead? Strike me dead? Well, that's what we call bread. Because bread is too long and, and simple. Strike me dead? It's that one there you carried to me straight off. Yes, sir. What was that? You see this bread? We don't call it bread. We call it something else, okay? Captain Flint? He's 200 years old and once belonged to a buccaneer now dead. Thank the good lord of the king's camp powder. Shut up! Get the fucking bread off him. <laughs> the bird just flipped down and goes straight into the water. <laughs> what the fuck? I've had that bird for 50 years. I don't know how it's still alive, but it is insane. He said it's 200 years old. No, he said Flint was 200 years old. It's Flint. The guy who's saving it. Say a little talk. They must learn it long ago. I like how the kids just Mr. Fussy. Um, what? Um, um, um. I was on a frigate, an English frigate, for two months. Nobody sang it to me. What the talk like a No! I don't think they have voice guides in Canada. I'm pretty sure they don't, because the actual organization's name is Boy Scouts of America. Now facing towards the front, you've got the blind side. And port is on your left, and starboard on your right. So they called it larboard because port's too long. I'm really disappointed they didn't sing while I was in Vancouver doing this. I guess I'll just move along. I like how a lot of these words are shit you don't need to have other words for. Yeah. How often do you need to talk about a guy's teeth? The only reason you need those other words, those other words, if you don't know what they're called, pretty, yeah. because you're dumb. That's port and that's starboard and that's bunch of Germans. Mr. Silver, those men at the apple barrel, they're pirates. I'm side dryer pirates, you say. Oh, that's their names. I thought they were just counting. I swear it's on my honor. That's good enough for me, Jim. Anchor here, boy, while I let them know no pirate has eaten Long John Silver's chow by Jupiter. Hey, Jupiter! Hey, Jupiter! Shut up! The same way too. Yeah. Sword in hand or otherwise. Also named Eins Rhein the other one. Uh, Eins Rhein 3. 1, 2, and 3. Now why would you think that, Jim? Is it because I wear the wood instead of real toes? A sailor warned me about a seafaring man with one leg. Never judge a man by the number of legs he's got. <laughs> so what if I got one leg? There are plenty of people who only have one leg. When I inform Captain Smollett about those three you captured, I'll make a point to give you all the credit. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. But you just don't open knock on a captain's cabin door, 
At the proper time, I'll report to the first mate, and he'll signal the captain. I guess that's wise. Actually, it's more like I'll talk to the quartermaster, talk to the second master mate, or talk to the first master mate. We'll talk to the first mate, who probably won't say anything to the captain. The captain can't be fucking disturbed. Those two, they were the other pilots. Hands, ears, knives, he's doing lock up them pirates. I like how the, the cook has such authority with these other people. They're pirates, guys. They're communists. Go lock them up. It was a lucky day for us when the squire hired you, Mr. Silver. Is he gonna sing again? I think so. I don't think you're allowed to just give people apples. Pretty sure there's a, a specified eating time and ration. They didn't. They didn't let me eat while I was screaming at people, which would have been the best, actually. Screaming how they're degenerates while eating in front of them because they can't eat. That would have been beautiful. <laughs> Fucking rat even snores. Pay attention. We're doing a thing. Oh right. Gosh. Oh, I just come from Captain Smiley's cabin. He sent me personal. Was it about the pirates I identified? No. It was about your snap. Him, the captain has decided a decision. He decided to see me to secrecy. Can I trust you, Jim? On my honor as an Englishman. Well, not by city, is he? how she lays, mate. He's looking at his casting his bell out. five buccaneers to walk the plank this very night. You, you mean? I, Jim, over the side of the murder and Ethan go. Now, seeing as you ain't a full road man, I think there's ever been a case of people walking people off the plank. Good night, yeah. land. What are you doing? I'm not afraid. Pay attention. Oh. God, what is wrong with you? You want your medicine today? No. You oh, no wonder. You the same before you hit the drink. Say it now, you heartless barnacles. Boy. Yes? He hates you. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> You pirates, you can swim. It's the sharks you gotta worry about. I never made a pirate wasn't a coward when it comes to walking the plank. Say hello to Davy Jones, you dirty blubberheads. Hello, Davy Jones. We hate you too. Gotta get yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta get them points for balls. Something rotten is going on. Mates, what happened here is a secret between us and the captain and my friend Jim Hawkins. Aye, 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 aye. Jim, you've done your duty like a man. So go below and pound your ear for what's left of this night. I think Jim I happened to forget that the cook is the one that suggested the whole thing. Yeah, I did. You did? Already. I, I didn't even hear him say that. Yeah. yeah. Apparently the reason they hired them is because the oh, right, right. over here right. at the cook. Whoop skulls. Sometimes you really are an awful bother. I guess I bamboos of a lad right well. Hey mates. I have a greying arbitrary. What the hell's wrong with you? What's that a bit excessive, isn't it? Let's kill them all and take the map and dig up the treasure. Dead men don't bite. Dead men don't bite? But there ain't no telling what an honest man will do. Why, they just as soon eat the map. Who the... Who bought this guy trying to murder everyone? There ain't no trust in an honest man. I say let them do all the work. That, what? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, so the guy, listening to yourself? That's, that's what the guy just said. Well, yeah. Yeah, you can murder them, but there's no telling what these people will do. They're honest. They might just eat them so that we don't get it. That's a line from um, Pirates. I, I'm dishonest. You can always trust a dishonest man to be dishonest. The honest people you have to watch out for. We hire a gorilla with mutton chops. This is crazy. My accent keeps changing. Morgan, 
This apple's got teeth marks in it. Give me another. I'll bring you the whole barrel, and you can choose one for your liking, and that's the end of it. That's actually the best thing you could do. Yeah. Yeah, the barrel's running away, and I like how nobody else notices this. This 400-pound fat dude with a giant... Oh, there we go. Running like Shaggy. Oh, if Long John needs to do us all in, well, why would he make his pirate friends walk the plank? <laughs> That's the worst mouse noise ever. Can't wait to get to that island tomorrow. Oh, likewise, Missy. How much you want to bet the three German twins have the same hand? <laughs> Oh, I thought, he, I, I thought Paul Revere was going to show up as a ghost. <coughs> I say, I'm haunting you! You'll find this hard to believe, but... Whisper, 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 whisper. <laughs> you see me on the bed, under the bed. Still wearing his hat. A good butler never leaves a hat. In, in what context was he making the noise? He doesn't believe it. Oh. I don't know much about Joe talking, but all I have to say, I left my hat and my hair in there. Oh, it's Sherlock. Okay. I thought that was the, That's the, not the butler. butler, yeah. For a bit, I thought they were the same person. There are 20 of them. I am not wearing pants. It would pleasure me if it were the other way. It would pleasure me. It would pleasure me. If you would shut up and let me think. <laughs> Gentlemen, no matter what happens, I do hope we can show respect for one another. Not you shut up to me. Spend your respect and shove it up your stupid ass, Sherlock. Stay out of this, Jim. This is men's work. You're on the right track, Jim. Speak up, boy. <laughs> And then perhaps we can subdue them and sail off and bring more men and then return for our treasure. That's an excellent idea. That'll work. Why not? Even though we just got finished pointing out there are 20 of them, despite four of us. Despite the uh, significant numbers advantage there. If you had gun and ammunition, I'll decide upon a plan and we'll inform you of it. Best get back to your kip before that slippery tongue traitor Silver becomes suspicious, lad. I have to kill a minute?